doing well. Today we are going to make a few glam DIYs that are going to go on a tablescape. Now you are going to see the tablescape before you will see these DIYs, but that's okay because you can look at that tablescape and figure out which DIYs that you would like to recreate. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use these, uh, this box and I purchased this from Dollar Tree, but we're only going to use the top of the box. We're going to use these two mirrors and I got these mirrors from Dollar Tree as well. We're going to use this um, Chanel logo and I got this from, uh, this is made from the Cricut machine and this round mirror was from Walmart and the square is from Michaels. These roses are from uh, Amazon and we're going to use this wrap that I got from Amazon as well. We're going to use this little knob, and I think I got this from Ross. We're going to use our glue sticks, glue gun, glue, and brush. So what we're going to do is go ahead and glue the um, mirror onto the top of this uh, box. Okay, y'all, so we're just going to go ahead and let this dry. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it'll be even cuter if I put like a ribbon around the neck of it, but we'll see. Let's move on to our next DIY. Okay, so for our next DIY, we are going to use this pylon looking glass and silver. Um, we're going to use some of our diamond wrap and we're going to use the stick that we got off the Cricut machine. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're just going to spray the glass and of course y'all we are not about to use this uh, in real life. Okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and let this dry and then we will come back and finish it. Okay, so our cute little cup has dried, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our um, our green wrap. And the 
bottom. We're going to work our way all the way up to the top. Okay, y'all, so this is how the glass turned out. I hope you all like it. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next DIY. Okay, so for this next DIY, we're going to use three different sizes of mirrors. I got this one from At Home. I got this one from Walmart and this from Dollar Tree. We're going to use some of our bling wrap, some of these um, tower blocks, scissors, um, hot glue, glue gun, and we are going to use these little uh, LED lights I got from Amazon. And they are going to be reused because they are definitely old. So the first thing we're going to do is take our big mirror. And we'll go ahead and turn it over. And we're going to take some of the towel blocks and glue them on the back. Okay, so we're going to just use our bling wrap to outline the mirror.
Okay, Glam Fam, so this is how it turned out. What we're gonna do is take the second here, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on the other side, and we're gonna add these uh, LED lights to it. So I'm just gonna glue these down. And I'm gonna put them on the edge as much as I possibly can. Okay, so this is how it should look. And you're not gonna see the light, of course, because we already have light, but and this is how um, this place setting should look. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our next DIY. Okay, y'all, so for this DIY, I already put this napkin ring on these uh, two uh, black and white napkins. Y'all, I got glitter all over them. I have to clean them off. But anyway, I use this uh, napkin ring from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old, see, it's just some cardboard, y'all. And it's raggedy. <laughs> but I used it in the previous DIY. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, bling wrap and I'm going to go around the edges of the, um, the, um, the Chanel logo. So if I had to do this all over again for this particular project, I would uh, spray paint the card, the cardboard um, silver. But we're just gonna do, uh, you know, go ahead and do it how we can. like spray I mean just uh, put a little um, glue on it and then put some uh, some glitter uh, on the edges and that will be just to cover um, the white parts that you see Okay, so this is basically how it turned out. Um, I think you can, I may go in here and put one piece of, because um, I don't think two is going to work. Let's see. Take this little piece right here just to see if this is going to work. Okay, we can get this off in there. Maybe a little struggle, but 
don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to take it off. And we're just going to deal with what we have. And I'm just going to take some glitter and just put some glitter on top of here so I can cover up the other spaces. So when you see this, it will be completely covered and done. Okay, Glam fam, so this is how the napkin ring turned out. All I did was just put some glue on the back of the cardboard and glued it to the napkin ring. So this is how everything looks, y'all. I think everything turned out so super gorgeous. Just need a little cleaning up, but I just love everything, so... I hope you all like what you see, and if you did, that's what you need to do. I bet you can't guess. You need to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more of these glam DIYs. Okay, y'all, so I'm doing this with one hand, so, um, you know, bear with me or whatever. So all I did was took um, two C's off of the Cricut machine, and I am using this iron, and uh, you need a thin, like a thin sheet or something, but I ended up using this pillowcase, so I had to wrap this in the pillowcase to get one layer because it was two layers so that's like the simplest way that i thought of to do it so y'all know me i be making stuff work so but i found this to be the easy way simple simple way to uh <clears throat> get this done And y'all, I never, well, I did this a long time ago, like when I was in high school. Um, I ain't gonna tell y'all how long that was ago. But the last time I did this is when I was in high school. So um, I had forgotten how to do it. So like I said, I just took a sheet and boom. And so <clears throat> let me see how it's looking on this side. Okay, so I'm going to try to take the whole thing up. Y'all, this is my first time doing this in a long time, so don't judge. This part needs to be done some more. far so good we gotta get this little last piece down here and y'all there it goes it looks so cute I love this okay so I'll show y'all the finished look. It's just a rug, and I just put the two, uh, the Chanel logo on there. So, boom. Stay tuned. 